back again, my beautiful people. Well, I don't know the boy yard man there. Yes, people just finished watching game at West Ham. Rain is falling, so I just heading home quickly. So I just stop just to do this video because people today was a shamble. I say it's Sunday that Mikel Arteta should start his best team to go to West Ham. This is a Carabao Cup that we haven't won for 30 plus years. And we are in the quarterfinal. Let's just go out there. Start the best team and then he can rest player. But guess what? He never take none of that. And people say, hey, I'm not a manager. He's a manager. But for me, he's a suspect. And I'm always going to say it. Why is it that you feel like you should go to another Premier League team with a weakened team in a cup competition? I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> for the love of Christ. Why you don't feel like you're supposed to take this competition serious? Winning breed winner. When you keep on winning, you got winners in your team. Look at Man City, look at Pep. Every single competition this guy take like it's a cup final. Even if you make one or two substitutions, you will never know that this is a different team. Pep Guardiola feeling. You understand? This guy take cup competition serious. If you don't, if you can't win the Champions League, if you can't win the Premier League, if you can't win the FA Cup, come on. Go out there and win the Carabao Cup. Because more likely there's nobody really in it. Man, man, man you is losing now. So it's only Liverpool left in it that we could say is a team that look like they are the favourite to win it. Only Liverpool. The Ola is out. They, they're out. Newcastle is beating them. And we don't look at that and say, this is a chance for Mikel Arteta to win a trophy? Come on, people, man. Come on. I don't understand. The first goal by Ben White is an accident. Yes, it's an home goal, and I understand that. It happened to anybody. You understand? But for the love of Christ, I cannot accept the second goal. I always say that from last season... When um, William Saliba get injured, I said to you that Gabriel is a suspect. And I'll forever say it. Without William Saliba, that guy don't look like a defender. This is why I'm not going to get in Brazil team. Because he's not a defender. He's, he, he's always been a suspect when... William Saliba is not playing. The ball control, the guy take it on him right, put it on to him left, and you gonna stop and a put it on behind and a bend down when the guy don't kick the ball through your foot? Why don't you know attack the ball? Because if you push a foot, you block that shot. Gabriel, if you push a foot, if you go to him, make a move towards him. You will stop that shot. Maybe he will do something different. Or you block the shot. I swear to Allah. You would have blocked that shot. But no, you stand up. Stand up. Are you going to bend down and put in your hand behind you? That is not defending Gabriel. I blame you for that second goal. And that is what killed the game. Because don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. West Ham was all over us. Even though West Ham didn't have a shot and target in the, in the first half. And they have, have been a goal up. But the aggressiveness with West Ham you could tell they was bouncing us off a ball left, right, and center. Yeah? They were picking up um loose ball. It it was yes, Arsenal have ball position, but ball position doesn't win game and it proving tonight. Ball position doesn't win game. And this is exactly what happened. West Ham could have scored four. Now, what intrigued me, yeah. After we three down, Mikel Arteta going to make a change and bring on Saka, Oligard, Martinelli. What's the point in that? After the game is done and dusted, in the nearly 70th minute, you're going to bring them on? Oh God, they're going to come on and, create and score four, four, four immaculate goal. That's what they're going to do. No, Mikel Arteta. They're not going to do that. Yes, only guy get one in the dime, the last kick of the game. The game is over and done with. Come on, when you see that second half come on, a second half come, they nearly score. That was alarm bell ringing there and then. 
the first kick of the ball, the second half, they nearly scored. Mikel Arteta, you should have reacted. And you did not react. You, you have to be a manager where I don't understand where Kyle Avert could. I, every time, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say this guy let us lose a game. I'm not gonna say this guy is the one why when we lose game is but Kyle Avert is non existent. I don't understand what he's doing. Uh, Mikel Arteta take off Trussard, him take off um, Nelson, him take off everybody and him leave him on the pitch for what reason? I don't know. What he bring to Arsenal? I don't know. I got no clue what this footballer bring to our club. What is his purpose? For you to spend 65 million on this guy where he couldn't score a goal for saving him life at Chelsea for nearly a season. Are you going to spend like Chelsea looking at you like, are you dumb fam? Are you, are you stupid? Are you find every single way to start this guy? Now, in midfield, how can you play Georgina and 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 um and um Vera in midfield? How is that possible? And 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 um Kyle Aver. No, you have um El Many sitting down on the bench. El Many will run, he will tackle. You need somebody lively in midfield. This is why West Ham take over the midfield and we couldn't go through them. We could not go through them. Eddie and Ketia, I don't know. Just non existent tonight. I mean, him scored, him latitude, Saturday gone against Sheffield United, could he score tonight? And this is what I'm saying the inconsistency with Eddie and Ketia. Yes, him score Achik and everybody big him up. Yes, we're going to say nice and good and him for score Achik. But it is inconsistent. You're not scoring the goal on a regular. And that is what killing us. Jesus is out. You have to go and get a defender. You have to go and get Ivan Tony. There are, there's no way. I can see Mikel Arteta don't tap into the January transfer window. You definitely need a midfielder. You definitely can when Declan Rice is not there. It's just like we just open up. And I don't understand why people believe this guy is the guy to, for us to win trophy at Arsenal. And I'm telling you. Mikel Arteta, you keep him there for the next 10 years, he will not win us a trophy. And I will say it and I'll forever say it. Yes, people might say, yes, he win the FA Cup. That was interruption FA Cup. Everybody was off the, the, the half football and no football was playing. And he come, the football restart and luckily, a bang him, make him, make him win the FA Cup. Because as we can see, it is Abba win the FA Cup. Abba get him chance against... Um, Man City and take the one chance. Uh, he will get to a chance against Liverpool. Was it Liverpool? Yes. Or Chelsea. One of the above. And we take a chance. People, I don't know. But this was a trophy where I believe that we could have gone and win it. To knowing that the likes of Man City wasn't in it. And I'm saying that that's the only threat that was in it for us. And they wasn't in it. And we should just go on and kick on and go on to win this game. But no, Mikel Arteta have had an idea. Oh, we're going to save these players because we're going to Newcastle on Saturday. Who tell you that you have to go to Newcastle and win? See what they're doing to Manchester United with their second team. Newcastle have a second team, the back line, who haven't played a Premier League, to, league together. They stopping Manchester. I, I don't care if people say Manchester United is, is dead and buried. But yes, it's still Man U. And Newcastle playing a second team and they're beating them. They beat them. They beat them. They beat them. So who give you the right to take... Te, who tell you the, that you can go to Newcastle on Saturday, 5.30, and by 6, 7, 7 o'clock, you will come up victorious? You have, you, have no right to, you have no right to think like that. Because it doesn't have to happen. Go out here tonight at West Ham. Because West Ham was what? Three games on the track, they lose. They lose um, um, in the European League. They lose Premier League. And we couldn't go there and beat them. Because they bully us left, right and centre on the pitch. They bully us. 
Pakata, I don't know. Oh God, this guy, this guy. <sighs> oh God. I'm sitting in the West Ham stand and I'm like, wow. Is this is what we're gonna up against in the Premier League? Then we have something coming to us because I don't know. We believe that we have a strong team, but we don't. Because if our second team cannot beat West Ham, then what's the point? What's the point? What's the point bringing on your best player when we actually lose a game? When the game is dead and buried, we be three 0 down with less than twenty minutes to go. Are you gonna bring on? You're gonna bring on your three best player? Huh? And then you're going to take off Trussard You're going to take off Reese Nelson When you're done uh, You know, keep on them forward play on the pitch Bring on Declan Rice Take off um, Oh God, I'm not even oh. oh, people I don't know, but I'm not going to I, I can't do this I just can't do this somewhere In the rain I come out to go and watch these Bloody I pay 65 pounds to get a ticket. 65 quid I have to pay to go and watch Arsenal in the Carabao Cup at West Ham. And this is what I come back. This, this is what I get for my 65 pounds. How bad is it? And I not even stop for, for do AFTV. I just cut because the rain is pouring down. I don't even know where they're at. So I just cut. But it, it is so bad. It is bad that we can't win not even a Carabao Cup. Huh? It is so bad that we cannot beat West Ham. Hey. Gabriel, if you don't have William Saliba beside you, you look like you're nothing. Mikel Arteta bringing on in best player them when we're 3-0 down with less than 20 minutes to go. And you believe you're going to win the game? You're going to take off, you're, you're keeping Kyle Avery on the pitch and taking off Trussard who can give us a goal. I'm positive sure that I'm a million percent sure that um, Trussard will score more than oh, Trussard will give us a goal a hundred times than oh, Kyle Avery could have give us take a shot and target. So why take him off? What you're going to talk about you to play how many different formations in a game but why today you never change the formation put Martin through the middle put Trussard on the wing uh, uh, oh God put Keep on your forward player. Keep a player up on the picture you know can score a goal, can give us a goal. Yeah? But you take them off and you keep playing up on the pitch who will not even take a shot on target. And you think that you're a good manager. Huh? And you think that to, to, to walk out of the, the Carabao Cup like that, get beat by West Ham in that, in that way, in, that, in, 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 the, in the way that we get beaten, is not good, man. It's definitely not good. People, I'm sick of it now. I'm sick of it because we ain't going to win the FA Cup. I was surely not going to win the Premier League. Eh, we not going to win the, the, the Champion League. So, and I state already, if we don't win a trophy this season, it's a failure. It's a failure. And that's one trophy out of already. Three more to go. Three more to go, people. People, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my video. Because you don't know the boy yard man there. We're going to head out now, people. Try to go home and try not to meds on the game while we're going home. But it's just one of them one. Can't even stop it. But people big up on yourself when you don't know where they are. People don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel, my people. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Big up on yourself.